today I would love to get the combiner box installed. Now the combiner box is going to go on the back of the array. This is the combiner box. Uh, it's made by Midnight Solar. Let's uh, get it out here. Because there's bottom knockouts. There's also a couple on the side and one here in the back. I want to line this up so that the large knockout that's right there in the bottom is directly over where the conduit is going to come out of the ground. That's just down here. So I'll take some pieces of Z channel and I'll screw them across here and space this out enough so that it can reach. So here's where the conduit comes out of the ground and if I space this off the back, put this on, we'll, we're still too far. So each Z channel is about four inches. So I'm going to need to come out with two more layers of the Z channel uh, in order to bring this out far enough. Why am I even bothering to install a combiner box in the first place? Well the answer is fairly simple. I have 12 solar panels on the back here. And 12 solar panels means 12 negatives and 12 positives. They're all going to run inside to the garage to a single charge controller. But I don't want to run 24 wires. So I'm going to combine these solar panels together. Now one method is to just string them together, but if I That's did my that, my voltage line. would be way too high. So I'm going to separate them into different strings. There's going to be a total of three strings. So those three strings need to combine into a single positive wire and a single negative wire. And they're going to do that inside this combiner box. It also serves as a disconnect and circuit breaker protection. So it combines a few different things into one box, nice neat package. So as you can see the holes, the screw holes will line up with the Z channel. Great. Alright, so I'm gonna go inside the garage, punch this out, and put in the adapter uh, inside the garage where it's warmer. It's kinda cold out today. Uh, I went ahead and put the strain reliefs in uh, along with this uh, adapter, this is uh, for a one and a quarter inch hole, uh, but I'm using one inch conduit. And so now I can go ahead and line this up. Uh, oh, and I attached the expansion fitting down here. As you can see, the box just screwed on using the same self-drilling sheet metal screws. And it lined up well and looks great. Uh, I'm very excited to run the wires through in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoy these, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.